this activity today. Before asking many questions, I want to make introduce yourself. Sure. So, so um, my name is Charles Dolly. I've been with uh, Michelin for more than 10 years. More than 10 um, years, yeah. Uh, my current position is uh, I manage the team of field engineers uh, for East Asia and Australia. Uh -huh. um, and then on top of that, get involved in uh, events like this where we're really showcasing the products because uh -huh. Uh, as field engineers, we're really in touch with the, the performance of okay, our products. Okay. So you basically you are an engineer. Yes. My first question for this activity: you prepared the P0 TM, not P0 Nero, or some other you know, Continental Contact Six. Yeah. yeah. Actually, recently in some surveys, PSS uh, becomes a little bit inferior in some aspects to that tire, in yep. some aspect to that tire. Yep. Before you know, you launch P S four S. So we expected probably you will prepare <laughs> maybe maybe uh, contact six or maybe P zero narrow GT. Yeah. But however, however today we found the traditional P zero TM. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So is, is there any reason why you prepare P zero TM? Um. So th there's a couple of a couple of questions to answer there. Yeah. The first one is our, our Pilot Super Sport. You're yeah. right. Yeah. This is a tire that we launched in 2010. Yeah. And so it's been in the market for, for uh -huh. seven years. Yeah. And we like to think that we've we've been the reference for performance in this Super Sport segment. Uh -huh. And in seven years, it gives the competitors a chance to, right. to really right. catch up. It's a long period. Yeah. And so it, it really is the right time to, to yeah. launch our, yeah. our new tire with the latest technology. Uh -huh. Now, in terms of choosing the competitor, mm -hmm. we, we would love to let you guys drive mm -hmm. on everything today. Mm -hmm. We had a few uh, limitations with the facilities in terms of what right. we can showcase. Right. Right. Um, if, we, if we started testing more PS4S, then mm -hmm. there's no opportunity to, to drive the, the Rena, Renault Clio or mm -hmm. the, the F4. Um, and the other restriction was we weren't allowed to wet the test track. Right. Right. Um, so, at this type of event, we'd like to invite Mm -hmm. as many uh, countries to right. to come as, uh -huh. uh, as possible uh -huh. Uh -huh. and so we're really forced to choose just one competitor okay. to, uh, I see. I to identify. See. The other parameters... So among, among all the competitors, the P0 is most popular, you, you mean? Yeah? Um, yeah, so for the majority of markets, we really consider that we're... Mm -hmm. you know, Pirelli is probably one of the key competitors. Okay. I see, I see. When I drive the P, uh, PS4S with, with the Gold R, at the limit, it feels a little bit smoother. Okay. Yeah, yeah smoother. So you mean bigger behavior is not so sharp as in the PSS. I, I feel that. Okay. Yeah. Do you think my feeling is correct or not? Um, oh, I'm really not the best one to answer this question, but um, a, c a couple of the features when you look more closely at the the, the sculpture of the tire. Mm -hmm. um, one of the, the comments that we've had from guests is mm -hmm. you, you can see how smooth yeah. the shoulder is. And one of those uh, the characteristics of mm -hmm. having a smooth mm -hmm. right. rounded right. outside shoulder yeah. is that progressive yeah. um, feel when you're on the limit. And it's the difference when you, when you have a, a more squared mm -hmm. profile uh, mm -hmm. edge to the shoulder mm -hmm. of the tire. Breaking distance was dramatically dif different. You know? Visual TM goes this way, and you know, PS4S goes this way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So from that, I should know the the absolute grip, dry grip, must be far far better than P0. Yeah, and then if so, you know, the uh, cornering speed must be far higher than uh, the P0, but the cornering speed at which you know the tire begin to make a noise was similar. <laughs> okay. uh, when I turn in the corner and make a, a limit speed, and when we steer, make a steering input, the car behavior was not uh, just a little bit smoother than PSS. You know? When PSS accelerate, if the front tire loses grip, just a little bit you know, goes outside, but this takes a little time to go outside. I thought 
about the reason why this made this tire makes such a uh, phenomenon. So I thought the uh, the outside compound became more similar to the race tires the tire. Is it? So uh, you right? Um, you, you're not too far from the from the truth. Yeah. Um, definitely. Uh, what we have with our Pilot Sport Couple 2 today mm -hmm. is a compound that's mm -hmm. linked very closely yeah, yeah. to what we use for our racing slick. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think when you went through the presentation today, mm -hmm. we talk a lot about technologies that right, are derived right, right. Or, or developed on the racetrack, mm -hmm. and that's really flowing through. Mm -hmm. And with the Pilot Sport 4S, mm -hmm. a lot of that knowledge and know how means mm -hmm. that the compounds that yeah. are developed for on road right. use are really not too far mm -hmm. from what you would find on a race time. So you, you, you're right. So, so the compound became a little bit softer than PSS. Is that right? So it's... I, I, don't, I don't like using the word soft, the soft because right. it, sometimes <laughs> it implies that uh, you know, it might wear a bit quicker. Uh -huh, I see. So, yeah. um, so you don't like uh, the word soft, soft. <laughs> <laughs> Just... Um, yeah. I, I think people associate the word soft compound okay. with, uh, with more rapid wear. Yeah. And so by really managing the, the materials well, uh -huh. controlling the, the pressure, having a nice even pressure uh -huh. in the contact uh -huh. patch, uh -huh. um, managing the temperature of the compound, uh -huh. and having that really good interaction between uh -huh. the road surface uh -huh. and the rubber, uh -huh. this is where our grip comes uh -huh. from. Uh -huh. And it's, it's one of the things that we achieve uh, uh -huh. very well uh -huh. with our uh -huh. Platinum Sport 4S. Uh -huh. Okay. If we summarize just in one sentence, uh, basic structure is similar. However, you know the compound, you know, ingredient, ingredients are similar, but the compound, you know, the composition are different. Is it okay? Um, yeah, it's uh, well. <laughs> if, if we had uh, one of the tire designers sitting with us, um, he would be saying no. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. I, I was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> but generally speaking, so yeah. look, uh, there are there are improvements in the architecture. Okay. There are improvements uh, that we find every day in terms okay. of the manufacturing process. Okay. But uh, it it really is in the new compounds. Mm -hmm. Like if you want to talk outright grip, mm -hmm. like the demonstration okay. of, mm -hmm. of breaking, mm -hmm. this is really those those compounds working. Yeah. 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 And. On our side, we're quite lucky. We, yeah. we have a lot of factories that are dedicated to making uh -huh. just tires. Okay. So it looks, it hears like a magic, you know. You gave more grip to this tire, and you gave more lifetime to this tire. <laughs> so uh, regarding the uh, lifetime, you know, longevity, uh, I want to make a question about, you know, uh, the scale. Actually, we understand what you are saying, this tire goes longer than PSS and any other you know, the competitors. But you know, the lifetime may be uh, uh, measured you know, based on the driving style. You know? you know, A to B driving, you know, uh, daily driving, it does not push a lot of burden to the tires. However, you know, in the riding road, you know, we, we give more stress to the tires on the circuit, you know, it, it's a wholly different story. Mm -hmm. So, uh, regarding the mileage, what do you mean by uh, the mileage based on, you know, the, in the average over, overall, you know, driving or you know, just, just based on you know, daily driving yeah. or things like that? So it's, you're absolutely right. The, the biggest variable mm -hmm. is the person sitting behind the steering wheel. Right, right. Uh, and how much they use their right, right, their right, right foot. Right, right. Um, and so for the testing that we do, mm -hmm. we make it a fair comparison. So mm -hmm. we have six tyres that we've tested, mm -hmm. six vehicles, mm -hmm. six test drivers, mm -hmm. and they will drive in convoy mm -hmm. on the public roads. Oh, cool. So they will drive a, a circuit, it might be a 200 kilometre circuit or 800 kilometre circuit. And what we're doing is driving each, each car, mm -hmm. each tyre, mm -hmm same road conditions, mm -hmm. same weather conditions. Mm -hmm. And so that's how we can extrapolate mm -hmm. the mileage projection. Mm -hmm. So you, you're right, if it's to go on a, on a circuit, mm -hmm. it would wear much quicker mm -hmm. 
but still we're able through our extrapolation look at some kind of a percentage difference. Mm -hmm. uh, on the circuit, uh, you believe that you know, PS4S goes longer than any other competitors you believe. So <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, the, uh, the the overall mileage is going to be much lower. Okay. So, if um, if you're the, the type of customer that likes doing many track days, mm -hmm. you're you're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. Pilot's World Cup too. Yeah. But if it's uh, the type of person that has, let's say, an AMG, maybe, maybe ninety percent of just daily driving, yeah. and just the you seventy know, seven percent, you know, just the winding road, yeah. and just the what. One or two days in, in a year, yeah. go to go to, to track. And in, in that case, yeah. And so that's uh, that's exactly right. I mean, the, the, the types of customers that have these these cars, you can't exploit the performance of these vehicles mm -hmm. on normal public roads. Mm -hmm. And so to really experience the car, a track day, mm -hmm. and if it's uh, the one that one percent, mm -hmm. the Pilot Sport uh, Cup, uh, sorry, <laughs> the Pilot Sport 4S. Mm -hmm. Is a, is a perfect fit. Mm -hmm. uh, when you look with bare eyes, the track pattern, there are more deeper groups in the PS4S compared to PSS, and the you know, group is a little bit wider. So we, we actually guessed you know, the contact patch of the PS4S is a little bit, should be a little bit narrower than the contact patch of PSS, however, you know, the figures shows that, you know, just to, but the contact patch of PS4S is wider, larger than that of uh, PSS by 1% or so. How is it possible? <laughs> so the, um, <laughs> It comes a little bit from what we've learned from uh, from Formula E. Uh -huh. um, you want to have very good uh -huh. wet weather performance, uh -huh. and generally speaking, uh -huh. to have better wet weather performance, you need to give in the the track design uh -huh. somewhere for the water to go uh -huh. uh, and a way to evacuate the water from the contact patch. Uh -huh. Now we know from uh, again the chemistry. Uh -huh. Uh, if you can fine tune that uh, that rubber compound to work better mm -hmm. in wet conditions, where the tire has that constant cooling effect mm -hmm. of the water, mm -hmm. then you have some uh, allowance to actually put more rubber in contact with the road mm -hmm. to have better dry performance. Mm -hmm. So you start to have better wet weather performance just thanks to the tread compound, mm -hmm. meaning that in dry conditions mm -hmm. we can have more rubber in contact. Road mm. to generate more uh, mm. more lateral grip in dry conditions. Mm. Um, so that's really where the, the percentages come from. Mm. And again, having a a tread pattern that's more closely linked to that Formula yeah. E design mm. um, means that we can call on what we've learned from Formula E. Mm. And that pattern we know works really well in Formula E. Mm. But it's also the tr same tread pattern that we have for our WRC tarmac rally tires. Okay. And so uh, it's something that works, and it's the reason why mm. our Pilot Sport 4 and our Pilot Sport 4S mm -hmm. looks so similar. Because not only does it look good, mm -hmm. we know it functions very well. Mm -hmm. The timing was very nice, I we think, you know. You, you said the PS has, has been sold in the market for seven years. It's almost a good time for, you know, you give new tires to the market. And however, you know, after you launch the PS4S, some other competitors will announce new and new tires, new tires. And my, my question is, probably Richard has developed next one. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think? You know, how many steps? Are, what? How many steps do you think you are ahead of other competitors? So, we, we've got a couple of um, bridges to cross, yeah. um, and and we know for sure uh, some of the other competitors' tyres mm -hmm. are almost as old as our our mm -hmm. Pilot Super Sport. Mm -hmm. So it's an inevitable that they will come with a new product mm -hmm. right. in the next year or so. Right. But um, 
the launching phase of our pilot sport 4S is from 2017, mm -hmm. 19 and 20 inch. Mm -hmm. And then at the start of 2018, you'll see the 17 inch and some of the larger mm -hmm. 21 inch mm -hmm. uh, dimensions. Mm -hmm. um, we, have, uh, we have some cards up our sleeve, mm -hmm. as you might say, as to uh, you know, what we can do with the, the next evolution. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, today we're, we're really focused on um, the Pilot Sport 4S and, and making that a successful tire. One more question. Uh, I thought this way, um, PS, compared to PSS, the PS4S became a little, as I just told you, became a little smoother at the limit. I thought one of the reasons might be the recent cars are usually turbocharged with, you know, because of the, the, the environmental issues and the turbocharger engines give a lot of torque and then so sometimes, you know, when the torques are burst out from the engine, tires get lose, lose their grips easily if the characteristic of, of the tire is very sharp. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what do you think, my, is, is my opinion correct or so? Um, but you're, you're right. Customers don't want to be scared right, right, right. when the car when the tire reaches the, the limit of grip. Right, right. If you can give them a characteristic that's more progressive, yeah. right. You don't frighten them. That is yeah, that's and my so, way of thinking. Yeah. Yeah, so if the if the tire sends some signals that mm -hmm. uh, okay, you're you're getting right. very close to the right. limit or right. you're, you're going over the limit mm -hmm. without losing control, right. then you can keep the car on the road okay. and, and rebalance the okay. car. And it's a characteristic that I think a lot of today's sports cars, right. Right. They, try to, they try to keep in the car. Okay, so you're going in a good direction. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good to see you and good answers to hear good answers from you. <laughs> okay, but uh, I, was, I was pretty worried that you were going to ask me something I might not know and I, I have to make a quick phone call to find the answer. But thank you and um, it's always uh, always nice to meet new faces and have uh, guests like you these days. So thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers. Good day.